time. I'm tired of rubbing liquor stores. It's too risky. What then, chops? Oh, fuck no. Well, better come up with a plan soon. Astrology. Astrology? Do you know in India, they have this thing called Vedic Astrology where fucking anybody in the Tom, Dick and Harry can open up a shop, charge people thousands of dollars for a remedy for this fucking Kalsarp Yoga or Pitra Josha, and they just keep fucking charging them. People are so fucking dumb, they keep giving them the money. That's like fucking somebody in the ass without them feeling the pain. That's what we gotta do. We gotta fucking open up some astrology fucking bullshit. Say, hey, you gotta fucking call Sarp Yoga. You better give me some fucking money so I can fix this shit for you. You know, that's what we gotta do. We gotta win people's money without fucking getting arrested or going to a jail. I bet you can sell gemstones to a lot of people and cut out the hero factor. That's exactly what I'm saying. You fuck people without them feeling the pain that your dick is in their ass. But where do we start? Where do we start? This place. Gosso! Coffee! This place. A coffee shop. Tell me one thing, how many fuck-ups like us you have seen robbing everybody in a restaurant through astrology? Alright, let's do it, I'm ready. Alright. You handle the crowd, I'll take the money. I love you, pumpkin. I love you, honey bunny. All right, everybody, this is a robbery. Any of you fucking pricks move. I'm going to put a gemstone on every single one of ya. How long did they say till we knock on the door? About five minutes. So tell me about your chart again. What do you want to know? Like how you became a big movie star and gain all that money and shit? Well, the astrologer said my mood is in the second house in the sign of Leo, so it's creating some sort of a wealth combination through dynamic self-expression. Dynamic self-expression. Shit. Well, you know, that's what the astrologer said, that my career will start in my moon, Mahadash, or some shit like that, because it's my standard lord creating a freaking dhan yoga. And not to mention, I had m more than about four or five dhan yogas and raj yogas in my horoscope, which gave me fame. And you know, that's kind of not, uh, that's uh, actually kind of true. My whole movie career started when I was in my moon, Mahadash, especially moon and Saturn, because they're both are very powerful in my horoscope, so... You know, my Saturn is exalted in my birth chart. My moon is creating a dun yoga and a self-expression. So, you know, shit like that is happening. What the hell are you talking about Raj Yogas and shit? See, in Vedic astrology, there's something called Raj Yogas. Because due to certain planetary combinations, you know, they can give you a lot of wealth, a lot of fame, status. So, you know, like in my chart, you have Mars and Jupiter creating a Raj Yoga. You have moon and sun moon and venus creating a dhan yoga you have saturn again creating a small raj yoga but a very fucking strong raj yoga and then you got another raj yoga and dhan yoga with mars aspecting venus and the yetel so you know it just gave me sudden fame and shit but you see that that that's not the actual uh, crop cream of the crop the real thing came when he told me this thing about nemancha chart my divisional chart because i have more fucking Raj yogas and dhan yogas in my Nimansha chart than in my D1 chart. That's why I fucking made it in this industry, you see? Examples. Well, you know, like in my Nimansha chart, I've got like five powerful Raj yogas and dhan yogas. Especially my Saturn creating some sort of a fucking Panch Mahapurush Raj yoga. You know, like a supreme human being and some shit like that. Mahapurush yoga. That's it. I want one of those motherfuckers in my chart, man. That's it. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, you dig it the most.
So how does this shit called the mantra chart help you? Well, the thing is, my moon is again in the second house of money, in money mantra chart. So that helps a lot. Then I got Sun creating a Dhan Yoga. I got Saturn creating another freaking Raj Yoga. Again, Mahapurush Yoga and shit, you know what I'm saying? And then you got a freaking Dhan Yoga creating by Mars and Mercury in the third and ninth axis and shit, he said like that. And then Mars looks at Venus. That, that again creates a Raj Yoga. So, you know, it's just a bunch of fucking powerful shit that's taking place that made me a fucking movie star and a, you know, fucking dynamic actor. You know that shit. And what about your marriage? Well, since I'm a cancer ascendant, it's better for me to get married late. And, you know, I did get married when I was 37, so kind of worked out all right for me, you know. Oh, what's that bitch name? Uh, Kelly Preston. That's the bitch, you right? Come on, man. That's my wife you're talking about. All right. All right, all right, all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go on. Well, you know, they say that whenever Saturn rules the seventh house, especially for Cancer Ascendant, it gives a late marriage because there's supposed to be some sort of fuck, fucking karmic backlog if you got like Cancer Ascendant and it's supposed to slow your marriage down. And what about the shitty time you had in the 80s? Well, you know, that happened because of the Mars Mahadasha. Because Mars isn't the sign of Scorpio in my horoscope and D1 chart. That really shows that there's going to be a lot of transformation in my creative self expression. Because obviously, you know, Scorpio and Aquarius sign is supposed to bring some karmic backlog and they're supposed to give you sudden ups and downs. But see, that's not the, uh, that's not really the reason why I suffered in my Mars Mahadasha. Why did you fail? Well, see, in my Nemancha chart, again, that this shit is very important, Nemancha chart. Man, if you ever get your horoscope looked at, you better pay attention to Nemancha chart. The thing is, my Mars receives an aspect from my some shit called Ghatni Karka. Mercury in Namansha because Mercury rules the you know sixth highest degree in some Jaimini shit They say that that planet with the sixth highest degree brings some sort of a fucking ups and downs But see I was still able to make a lot of money in that time period even though my movie failed Because Mars still rules my tenth house still rules my fifth house and my D1 chart makes it a yoga car or some shit But because it was eighth from my tenth house It gave me sudden ups and downs because it went eighth from the tenth house meaning Eighth place, eighth house energy was being reactivated and it was in my sign of Scorpio. You know, what do you want me to do? Shit. But I still made a lot of dough, you know, so you can't really say that. But you know, it's a little differences in India that really makes a big difference compared to here. Examples. Well, in India, you can smoke ganja anywhere you like. You can go in a restaurant, you can go on street, you can sit on your freaking balcony and smoke ganja and nobody can do shit. A cop can't do shit. Even if a cop comes and asks you, fucking give him two, three, four hundred rupees and they fucking let you do whatever you want to. So, you know, it's, it's a really great place. Haha, <laughs> that's it. I'm going. I'm fucking going. <laughs> you know what they call pancakes in India? What? Jalebi. You know what they put on jalebi instead of syrup? Mayonnaise. God damn. Shit. I'm telling you, man. I see him do it. They fucking drown him in that shit. Rahu, it's here. You boys know who we are? Boys know who we are? Hey, 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 hey. Keep chilling, keep chilling. You know who we are? We are associates of your business partner, Saturn. You remember Saturn, don't you? <sighs> now, let me guess. You must be Brett. Yeah, I thought so. You remember your associate, Saturn? What are you eating there? Tandoori chicken. Tandoori chicken. <laughs> Cornerstone of any nutritional breakfast. Which you get it? Um, it's a tandoori restaurant. No, no, no. I, I don't mean by that. I mean, where'd you get it? KFC, Popeyes, chicken nuts. Mmm, cares chicken. 
KRS Chicken. Hmm. Isn't that the uh, number one more subscribed astrology channel on YouTube? Man, I heard he got some good videos in there. You watch him? Yes. You subscribe to him? Yes. Cool. Now, would you mind if I tried some of your chicken? No. <laughs> sure. Great. Now this is some tasty tandoori chicken. Hey Ketu, you gotta try the tandoori chicken, man. Ain't hungry. Well, whenever you're hungry, you gotta go down to Kara's channel and try this tandoori chicken. What are you drinking there? Lassi. Cold Lassi? I gotta try some of that. Do you mind if I try some of your Lassi to quench my thirst? No. <laughs> sure. Mm. What is it, made of milk or some shit? Yogurt. Yogurt? Damn, I heard some, that's some healthy shit right there to drink some yogurt. My mama always told me to drink some yogurt, dog. Thanks for this. Now, as I know, we have some small package to pick up of some precious gemstones that are energized by all the Saturn mantras. Can we get it? It's right there in the kitchen. I didn't ask you a goddamn thing. You were saying? It's, uh, in the bottom drawer. Oh, on the, on the right, on the right. Okay, do we have it? Ketu, do we have the package? <laughs> we have it. Um, I'm sorry, I, I, I got his name, Ketu, um, but, but I, I didn't get your name. My name is Rahu and your ass ain't getting out of this. I'm sorry, the things got so fucked up between us and Mr. Saturn and, and we got into this thing with the best intentions. You were saying? <laughs> you were talking about best intentions. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? <laughs> oh, you forgot. Well, allow me to retort. What does Saturn look like? <laughs> what? What does Saturn look like? What, do, do they speak English and what? What? Speak English, motherfucker. Yes, yes. What does Saturn look like? What? Sa say what again? Yes, say yes. what again? I dare you, I double dare you, motherfucker. Say what again? He's black. Go on. And has a ring around him. Does he look like a bitch? What? <laughs> oh. Does he look like a bitch? Oh. No! Then why are you trying to fuck him like a bitch, Brett? No! I didn't! Yes, you did! I didn't! Yes, you did! And Mr. Saturn does not like to be fucked by anybody except Mrs. Saturn. You read Parashra Hora Shastra, Brett? Yes! Well, there's a passage that I would like to uh, tell you about. Well, when Saturn transits 12th place from the moon, 
it starts off something called Sarisati. And Sarisati lasts for seven and a half years until Saturn moves away from the second place where your birth moon is placed. And in that time, Saturn is going to bring his thunder and furious anger to lay upon the karmic lessons he's here to teach you.